Okay, so what we have here is the BlackBerry Z10. And what we need to do is to take apart. As you see, I've got a broken screen on it. Smashed it pretty good. I don't know if you can see it there. So we're going to replace that. Actually, I'm just going to show you how to take it apart, and then you would basically reassemble it all the exact same way. So let's get started. Take off the battery door. <coughs> there you have that. Tools you need are a plastic pry tool. I just use this little spudger. And then I also have a T1 and a T3. <coughs> we'll start with the T3 for the screws in the back. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws you have to remove to take this back plate off here, this plastic back plate. And note that the one screw is uh, right here, it has a warranty sticker over it. And you'll have to remove that or just push through it to get that screw out. So we'll take those out right now. for the lighting. screws out. <coughs> oh, one left. All the black screws. They're all the same size, so it doesn't matter uh, where you put them and when you put it back together. Just make sure that you do have your, your memory card taken out if you did have one in there, because it will pry off against the plastic. Uh, it'll rip your, your SIM card tray off the board if you don't. Uh, memory card, if it's in or the, sorry, the uh, SIM card, if it's in there, you can actually leave the SIM card in. <coughs> doesn't make a difference. So where I like to start, you can either start here with something uh, small and thin to pry up this blast black plastic plate on the back, or you can start down here. That's what we'll make you do. I actually prefer to do it this way. It's much easier, I find. Just watch you don't hit any of the board components when you're doing this. will all pop up nicely. <clears throat> get the back up there now. And then I find that once you get this back corner up, pry from the inside there where I was primed before, and it'll come up nice. And then you work your way from the bottom to the top. So get in here. Pry some more. There is some some double-sided kind of tape, foamy tape stuff on the uh, battery connector. Um, so if you reach inside, it will just pull off. Or if you reach inside, you can actually just use your pry tool and pry it off the top of it. It makes it a little bit easier, just so you know you're not pulling on the board too much. <coughs> it's just it'll be right on here. You can see there it is on the uh, the back side there, that white spot. Once that's uh, unglued, it comes off nice and easy, and then you have the internals there. So then you want to get all your flex cables off. Pretty much uh, any flex cable you see plugged in does have to come unplugged. So you have your top one here. For your vibrator. You have your headphone jack up here. Then you have your LCD and digitizer and whatnot right here. Okay, so all those are unplugged, and then basically it's it's much like the iPhone. I was really surprised when I took it apart. Um, 
face, same basic shape and everything and how it comes out for the most part. Um, it is kind of pushed down into the side, so it's a little bit tricky to get out. It'll feel like it's binding on something, but once it un comes unclipped, it'll come out. And there you have your board. Very simple. So set that aside. <coughs> and then, so to get the LCD off, there's a couple more screws you have to take off. There's a... Uh, Let's see if you can see them here. It's going to be hard to see. There's a screw here. A screw right there. A silver screw. There's a blue screw right here. There's a gold screw up in the top right corner up here. And then there's going to be four long black screws that are in the frame. One here, 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 oops, and here. You take all those out next. Those would be all T1 screws, very small. These do have to go in the same places. The four on the outside of the frame are all the same, but the uh, the silver, the blue, and the gold do have to go in the same place. Even with bad lighting, this isn't a difficult thing to do. It's much easier than I anticipated it was going to be. <coughs> okay, so next, you basically have to remove this, this copper sticker so that you can pull your, your ribbon cables up because they do have to be fed through the metal chassis for the, for the LCD frame. It just basically peels off, just like so. Like that. <coughs> And these just peel upwards, they are glued to the frame. So just be careful when you're peeling them up, you don't rip them. They can rip when you up, but I imagine they are fragile just like they all are. There you have it. And that's where they slide through the through the frame. <coughs> just right here. They do come out kind of weird because they are so big, as you can see, and there's so many of them. So you gotta be super careful when you when you push them out the frame. So there's uh, basically the easiest way I find to do this is there's, if you look closely, I don't know if you can be able to see it here, but there's a little hole right here. Um, you can see where it's shiny. That's actually the back side of the LCD. You can push there to press the LCD out, um, and you can push up here. I recommend you start at the top. Uh, actually, if you look right underneath the, uh, if you look under the vibrator, if you can see it, there's shiny under there as well. That is the back of the LCD as well, and I, I find it works well if you start pushing the top corner up here. Uh, the LCD is latched in the bottom. It has to go from the top to the bottom, so this is the best place to start. I'll show you why. When you grab it, uh, grab it just uh, hold the top of the frame and then push through, and you'll see that the LCD will start to split, just like so. Put your finger in there, and then basically just work your way around the top. that see and those screws you took out do have to come out because they are into the LCD frame so if you don't take those out you're just going to be making a whole mess comes down like that and then pull it to would be the left And you have your uh, your screen connectors here. See in the bottom, they're really kind of bind up there. So you really got to get creative with the way you take it out here. <coughs> Good. 
turn and bend them. There we go. And then give it a turn. Basically, so your LCD is like this. And then they'll just slide out. And there you have your LCD. Like I said, not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's really simple. Um, and then in the chassis, <coughs> it also actually looks fairly simple, a lot like the iPhone. Um, you have your, your ear speaker, nice and easy to fix. Um, the loudspeaker is going to be in here, in the black pa in the black, past uh, black plastic back piece at the bottom. So I'm not sure if that's going to come out as one piece or how difficult that's going to be. I imagine it's all going to be made as one piece here. So you have to replace the whole thing if you want to replace the speaker. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it looks like. <clears throat> and then for the headphone jack, it looks like it's all built in here. Uh, vibrator, I believe, just is glued on there. Then you have the flex for it. Um, for the microphone, the microphone is just in the bottom here, as you can see. Mm, that little round piece, the flex cable. Yeah, there it is. It's got two connectors on it. It's just going to be glued on there from what I can tell. Looks like it'll be super easy to replace. And there you have it. That's the uh, the Z10 take apart. Thanks for watching.